You have probably heard the rumors, the predictions, and speculation that Cedar Point is getting a record-breaking roller coaster in 2020 to celebrate the park's 150th anniversary. We've seen the GCI wooden coaster prediction, the record-breaking flying coaster prediction, and even a 500-foot RMC T-Rex coaster prediction. All of this is believable because the 150th anniversary is a big accomplishment for a park, and what a better way to celebrate that than to continue what the park is known for, and that is adding record-breaking roller coasters to their lineup. But what if I told you that Cedar Point won't receive a roller coaster at all in 2020? Cedar Point General Manager Jason McClure was interviewed by local news station WKYC earlier this week, and Jason touched briefly on what the park could be receiving in 2020. Here's a few bits from that interview. Let's stay there while we're there. 150 coming up next year for you. Yes. yes. Big year for the park. Yes. What, what do we know so far? Can we, uh, can yeah, we, can I we know give some insight? Everything. I know everything. What can you give but us? I'm not going to tell some everything. You know, I think what's... Come on, we're West Virginia guys. So <laughs> what will be great about 150, it'll be a total celebration of the entire Cedar Point experience. As a team, and we've talked about it, we want to make sure we celebrate family, that we celebrate the history of the park, yeah. and that we talk a little bit about what the park can be in the future. I mean, Hitting the 150th anniversary is just a, an amazing milestone. Uh, fortunate to be here for that celebration. And it is, it's going to be a party. It's going to last all year long. Um, and we will celebrate it in just about any way possible. I think a lot of people are looking for the you know 500 foot roller coaster that goes across the, the lake. The rumors are out there. The rumors, the, people enjoy the rumors. I like uh, listening to the rumors too. We would already be building something if it was gonna be that big. So yeah. I think uh, people will be happy to help with us join and kind of celebrate all the memories and the history of Cedar Point and then talk a little bit about what could come in the future. We, you know, down. this Midway has got such a long history. I talked a little bit about the Coliseum. I think that's a building that we would love to uh, celebrate yeah. and leverage a little bit more than we have in the past. And um, it'll, it's going to be a great year. Get, people are going to love coming out to the park in 2020. So any new rides in 2020 for the 150? You know, it would be weird to have an anniversary without some kind of ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, we got that. Yeah. There, there will be some sort of ride <laughs> launch in 2020. So as you heard in the interview, Jason seemed to downplay what the park is looking to open in 2020. I think if something record-breaking or monumental was coming for the 150th anniversary, he may have left us a bit of a teaser in there. He even mentioned that if they were going to build a 500-foot roller coaster, they would have already started work on it by now. So I think we can safely say that a large-scale coaster, or at least a 500-foot tall coaster, is not coming to the park in 2020. Instead, I think we are going to see them focus on the atmosphere and experience at the park. I noticed that Jason said they were going to celebrate families and the history of Cedar Point. Jason also mentioned bringing back some classic food items from the past and using the Coliseum a bit more. So we might even see some future shows. This seems to follow the trend that Cedar Fair is shifting towards and that is focusing more on the overall guest experience rather than the huge roller coaster investments. What caught my attention the most was when Jason said, we will take a look at what our park could be like in the future. When I first heard this, I thought, major coaster in 2021, but looking at Cedar Fair overall, he might actually be alluding to a change of strategy for the future. Could this be a major turning point for America's roller coast? After opening two record-breaking roller coasters in the last three years, Val Raven and Steel Vengeance, they have primarily been focusing on the large roller coaster additions. But with Forbidden Frontier, a new family discover area coming in 2019, and with 2020 focusing on family and history of the park, we might see future additions that focus on enhancing the overall guest experience for every member of the family, especially attractions that gear towards the non-thrill seeker. If my speculation is correct, I think this is a great move. After visiting the park for the first time last year, Cedar Point provided more than enough thrills for me, if Cedar Point did not open a new coaster for the next five years, I would still want to go to this park every single year. So Cedar Point doesn't need a new record-breaking coaster to draw the big crowds. They just opened arguably the best coaster on planet Earth, and they have plenty other coasters that are in the top 20. 
So Cedar Point has established itself as the park with the best roller coasters. But when you think of the public overall, not everyone is seeking those crazy aggressive rides. So finding ways to please those non-riders may help boost attendance in the near future. Now from the interview, what we do know is that there is some sort of ride coming in 2020. So what can we see? I think an interactive dark ride would be a great fit, especially when looking for a top-notch family attraction. I remember when I was little and afraid of roller coasters, I loved riding Scooby-Doo Ghost Blasters, a shooting dark ride that used to be at Six Flags St. Louis. So adding a similar style ride would be a perfect family attraction. Now with that said, I don't think this is a long-term plan. Cedar Point isn't going to stop adding more record-breaking roller coasters in the future. After all, Cedar Point will want to keep the reputation of being the roller coaster capital of the world. But I think the park in the near term is going to balance out their attraction lineup by offering fun for those who don't like roller coasters. If Cedar Point wants families to spend their yearly vacation in Sandusky, Ohio, they need to find a way to cater to everyone in the family. So as a coaster enthusiast, I would have to say I'm a little bummed that we're not going to see that crazy new 500 foot tall RMC T-Rex coaster in 2020. And part of me hopes I'm wrong and that we get some sort of major coaster for the 150th anniversary. But with the trends of late, I think it might be a few more years before we see that next big roller coaster for Cedar Point. So what do you think Cedar Point will get in 2020? Do you think our speculation of the park's future is spot on, or is it way off? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more theme park content. I'm Kella Hale-Benz. Have a good one, guys.